This is total crypto market cap zoomed out, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are altcoins. And we are at the very beginning of a cycle breakout into altcoin season. This is kind of where we were last cycle at this moment. So this is just getting started. And this video might be one of the most important bull market videos that I make. Ironically, I want to share a piece of data with you. And then we're going to really dive into just a lot of different content as it surrounds this meme coin. The piece of data I want to share with you is right now, YouTuber crypto channels they're getting this increase in engagement. The statistics are looking good. And this is a great indicator for everybody from a social sentiment perspective, YouTube channels growing. What I want to say, and herein lies the opportunity of this meme coin, this video that I'm putting out there right now is going to underperform against many of my recent videos right now. And that is the exact reflection of the opportunity that is right in front of everybody right under everybody's nose right now. And I think in six months, in a year, when we look back at this video, it will look very obvious. So hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. So there's a lot to talk about, but we're going to be talking about obviously dog, the meme coin on Bitcoin. I said the dog meme coin on Bitcoin will be the headline coin of this cycle book market. Leonidas, the creator of dog said, when people come back to this post in six months because of the quote posts, I want everyone to see this reply. You are not ready. So there's a lot to go through. We're going to end up on the charts and we're going to speculate a little bit in terms of dog upside. But the reason why I'm doing this video and I'm telling you, I think it might be one of my most important bull market videos. It sounds crazy. The reason is I want to be, I want to bookmark it. I want it to be on record on this YouTube channel. I put it on record over here and y'all know I've been incredibly bullish about dog for quite some time now. This is what I want to go over. This was, this was the main reason why I wanted to do this video. If you're curious about dog, read this now. Leonidas has rewritten the meme coin rules. There is a new standard, the dog standard. If you've been sitting there and you've been like, why is Dan covering meme coins? What is this meme coin? I'm going to read through this thread that Leonidas wrote. And feel free to hit the timestamps, hop around the video, but you want to pay attention to what he wrote here. And just as context... Litecoin launched in 2011 and it just transformed itself into a meme coin and it's working. And you're going to tell me we're not entering a meme coin super cycle. This is one piece. This is one reason why I'm so bullish on dog, the number one meme coin. And, and it is true. I don't know if you've seen this, everybody, but Litecoin right now, go to their page. They've straight up turned into a meme coin and it has absolutely exploded their engagement. It has exploded interest in Litecoin. And it's working. And it's because we're entering a meme coin super cycle. Now, let's dig into this, everybody. Let's dig into this thread. And then we're going to look at upside, which I think is going to be mind-blowing to many of you. Not even this chart. Actually, outside of this chart is conservative compared to what I'm going to talk about. Here's the important part. Why the biggest meme coin influencers don't post about dog. If you want the cabal to post about your meme coin, you have to pay them. No, I don't mean sending them $1,000 for a repost. I mean something much more sinister. You have to either give them access to the presale where they buy in when at super low market cap or you pass them the CA address before it's public, before it gets public. Trust me, these guys are not super geniuses who have a superpower of picking meme coins at 1,000x. And this is the thing, everybody. Don't fall into that. Don't fall into these big influencers that are pumping these tokens. Because this is what's going on behind the scenes. All that is happening is they are effectively give, being given tokens for free. Then they bull post about them. And then you know what happens next. It flies to the upside and then it crashes to the downside. Is what happens. With dog, the airdrop algorithm did not favor whales or influencers. When I say free and fair, when I say there's no influencers, this is, this is getting into that. In fact, I've heard stories of people who were literally broke who received $100,000 of dog. 100% of the dog supply was allocated, allocated via a simple and open source airdrop algorithm that rewarded those who showed up and supported Bitcoin when it needed them the most. The early days of Bitcoin ordinals. I mentioned it briefly, I think, back in the early days. The end result is that you won't, you won't see posts from the cabal about dog. However, you will see posts from very intelligent and analytical thinkers who on their own identified the value in dog without needing the cabal to tell them what to buy. So I was part of the, the airdrop, but I didn't get nearly as enough when I saw the opportunity, nearly 
enough, nearly as much as I wanted. So I've, I've been accumulating dog over the months. That's what I've been doing. And I've been documenting that for quite some time now on this YouTube channel and on X. When this is all said and done, I hope, I hope the top dog fluencers become the new cabal, except this time we rule with an ethos of fairness and transparency because, it, because that is the Bitcoin way. Notice as we're going into meme, meme coin cycle, how meaningful this post is. And I'm telling you, I, I said it's, it's rewriting the meme coin rules. And that is the most bullish thing that is happening in the meme coin space right now. And even more bullish is people are not paying attention. And I just want to make a note, and then we're going to really dig into the charts a little bit. This was the other day, as you all know, Kraken stepped up. They listed dog perpetuals. I want to make a note that is not, that is not spot trading. It's perpetuals. We haven't even gotten spot yet. This move will not be forgotten. We thank you for slowly opening up the floodgates. But what I want to show you is, look at this post when they did it a couple of days ago. Do you see that engagement right there? This is another piece of data that I, I, just so many people, are, they're just not paying attention to. The dog, the dog army is next level, and we're not even on the tier ones yet. Look at the over 5,000 engagement. Any crypto exchange loves this engagement. Now look at a previous listing announcement. ONT, perpetuals. 32. No, no, no negativity against any of these projects, but I'm just saying, do you see the power of Dog Army? And this is a decentralized, just free and fair movement. This is just a very distributed token with insane amount of holders. Look at this. And here's 49. Look at the engagement. 41. Here's 233. But look at this. Over 5,000 likes. Over half a million views. So before I get into the charts, I want to go over one more post from Leonidas because it's going, to, it's going to tame down my chart. So here we go. The $550 billion bull case for dog. SHIB is 3.73. And pay attention to this. This is just data. This actually, it seems ridiculous and seems hypey. It's just simply data that he presented here. SHIB is 3.73% of the market cap of ETH. WIF is 3.5. Think about these numbers too. These meme coins are 3.54% of the market cap of Solana. DOG is 0.023% of the market cap of Bitcoin. If DOG reaches 3% of the market cap of Bitcoin, that would be $52 billion market cap. Just for context, I think uh, Doge over here is at actually at $54 billion. Right now is, at, is sitting at $54 billion, just to give you context. So if DOG reaches 3% of Bitcoin market cap, it's at $52 billion. It is actually, I mean, that should be a very, that should just be a target for this cycle. Just saying that. If Bitcoin goes to $250,000 a cycle, like many analysts are calling for it to, and if the same 3% ratio held dog would now have a market cap of $181 billion. But the 3% ratio of dog coin to native currency does not reflect the absolute frothiest moment of a crypto bull run. In 2021, during peak mania, this is crazy, actually. I didn't even realize this. SHIB reached... 9.12% of the market cap of Ethereum. And this wasn't even a meme coin season, everybody. Almost 10% of Ethereum's market cap, this meme coin, in 2021. If we apply this new 9.12% ratio to DOG and Bitcoin, it would now increase DOG's market cap to $550 billion, which would be 1,322x from today. This is not financial advice. It's simply a set of observations and conclusions based on historical market precedent of top DOG meme coins. You might be like, well, history is not going to repeat itself. Yeah, maybe it won't repeat itself. But how can you not look at this data and say, this is the first cycle where Bitcoin has meme coins and dog is the number one meme coin on Bitcoin. These numbers are actually like they're in play. I don't know if Leonidas is saying he thinks that's going to happen or not. These are ridiculous numbers. But the point being, as we pivot over to the charts now, you start, my charts actually start looking very conservative. And here's what it looks like. I have an orange. This is Doge last cycle, just to give you a little bit of context. And even more so, and I've talked about this before, Doge last cycle at this moment, here's elections, 2020, was sitting at 300 some million dollars. Okay? And then post-elections kind of made its way up. Here's in the $500 million area. Where Dog is right now is $500 million area post-elections of 2024. 
these things, as we enter a, a, a crypto bull market and altcoin season, are lining up very nicely for, do, for DOG. So what I wanted to point out to you on this chart is, look at, look at the numbers now. They, they actually look conservative. A $10 billion market cap. We just talked about 50, 50, around 50 billion should be kind of just a regular target based on meme coin seasons in general. So 10 billion is a 20x from where DOG is right now. If the floodgates of these exchanges start opening up, I think that is so in play sooner than later. And I'm not sitting here saying it's going to actually like just repeat and mimic this time frame. This it could reach $10 billion quicker this cycle because it is meme coin cycle. It is meme coin season. It is a super cycle. So, and then I have $25 billion. $25 billion market cap is a 50X from where DOG is right now. Now, please note, right now, Doge is sitting at over $50 billion. So this is saying, even if the, the swing high for DOG this cycle only reaches half of where Doge is right now, and Doge is likely going higher. Even if it hits only half, that's a 50X. There's the 50X right there. And this is, I posted this yesterday. I said, well, everyone, the time is almost here. Dog will soon make its way through a billion market cap, never to return again. For the last half a year, I tried my best to present to you the power of this meme coin. Now Dog will demonstrate its power with a 50 to 100X. That's where I get these numbers from. A 50X on this chart is half of what Doge is right now. And this is an environment if it, maybe Dog only goes to 25. If it only goes to 25 billion, that's a 50X. This is the number one meme coin on Bitcoin. If we get the meme, the meme coin super cycle, I don't know how you could disagree that these numbers are just not realistic. They're so realistic. Especially if you go look at Leonidas' post. He's taking actual data from other chains last cycle and he's coming up with a $550 billion market cap. I don't have that on my, that, that's like off my charts, right? The highest marker I have right now is 25 billion, just to paint a picture. And, and you can see from where dog is right now to the 25 billion, we can, we can say it's around 50X. And then if you just kind of extend this, right? There's 100X right there. That's realistic. I think in my, in my view, that is 100% realistic. And on his post, he's talking about 1,000x. So this is a fraction of actual data that he laid out over here. So the 50 to 100x data, that is what it's looking like on this chart. Whether or not it plays out, I really just don't know, everybody. I just want to document this. I want to put it on record on YouTube because this is where we are. And I want to mention, if I know there's a lot of people that are like, how do you buy this? Rob over at Digital Asset News, he's a, he's a dog bull. He posted a video. I'll put a link in the description, how to buy dog, go to the moon, the number one Bitcoin, meme coin on Bitcoin. I'll put a link in the description. It just, it sums it up very nicely. So these are my thoughts, everybody. I just wanted to put this video out there as the cycle really does just kind of keep getting more and more bullish. It's not even started for for dog yet. The floodgates have not even opened in regards to tier one spot listings. So I'm putting it out there. I appreciate you watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.